Hello there taxidermists and gentle peeps, this is Neil Woodman and I am here to do a video for you to explain a new version of the hot end fix. Um, we, we all know that the hot end fix for uh, the standard sort of hot ends for your 3D printer um, is to print a washer, place it in there and it locks off this section of the Bowden tube and this section of the Bowden tube meaning that you can get a pressure between here and here and thus um, not create clogs as the filament forces its way in between the nozzle and the um, hot end, the Bowden tube. Okay, so the way that we do this, so this is a standard PTFE coupler. Okay, you see there it has a large through hole and this large through hole allows the PTFE tube to go all the way through. Instead, what we're going to use is one of these. And this is called a PC4-02 coupler. And you will see that it doesn't allow the PTFE tube to go all the way through the coupler. So rather than having to print a washer, this has something built into it. So uh, there will be a link in the description of uh, where you can get a pack of these. Um, so you'll be able to do it at home. Um, I'm just gonna show you quickly uh, how we set this up. So we can disassemble this hot end La la la, like so. And so we take all these bits off. So, uh, you might be wondering, how do we find out how long we need to cut the Bowden tube? So, this might be different for different hot ends. So, if I show you the method we use to work it out, then you'll be able to use it in your specific hot end, no matter the make or model. So we disassemble and take that out of the heat block like so. So now we have the hot end and what we are going to do is wind the uh, PC402 into there and we will get a piece of Bowden tube. I like to use the uh, the white normal uh, Bowden tube that has the larger diameter for this section and then I use Capricorn tube for the rest of it. This just gives you a little bit more tolerance inside the hot end for, um, you know, so it can squish up um, without ruining it, okay? So, um, we push that all the way up to where the PC04-02 is. And we're just going to unwind that a couple of twists. Okay. So, with that pushed up, we can hold this tube in place. And we can use that as a guide. We get the knife. To cut that off so then you see when you wind that up tight it pushes the tube out a little bit which is what we're going to need when we screw that back together to give it some squish okay so we want to make sure that it's nice and pressured um, because that's where we're going to get the compression that we need so we wind that back on la, 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 like so and then we'll put the securing screws back in, like so. Just do them up. Like so. Doesn't need to be super tight, but this is just a demonstration. And then we're going to wind on this. We're going to leave it a little bit loose first of all and then we're going to wind the nozzle in 
okay and again we just just make it a little pressure fit so now the Bowden tube is squashed between the nozzle and the connector so now that that is done and we can feel a little resistance with our fingers then we're going to tighten this right up to get some good squish on the tube itself okay so now that is nice and pressured um, obviously once you've installed it you're going to heat this up to 200 degrees and give the nozzle another little pinch just to make sure that it's nice and tight but that Bowden, piece of Bowden tube now is squashed between these two points okay um, one thing that I did forget um, in actual fact is that when you go to install this what you really want to do is place a bit of filament down and place it in there so that it lines up the Bowden tube with the connector like so so then you know that it's all in line yeah so uh, make sure that there's a bit of filament in there and then you can just put your Bowden tube in the top there as per normal so there you go that is a hot end fixed extruder uh, with Bowden tube ready to go <clears throat> all you do make sure that everything is nice and tight um, reinstall it and uh, heat this up to 200 degrees wind that on nice and tight you know give it a little quarter turn um, and you're good to go it means then that this top piece of Bowden tube um, you don't have to keep changing and cutting shorter and cutting shorter all you have to do is if you start having print problems or clogs or whatever is just take out that um, piece of tube there you can use that to set the length as a guide uh, and cut your next piece put in the lining and away you go okay so that's that that's what I call the ultimate hot end fix and um, link will be in the uh, description for the PC402 four millimeter tube connectors uh, please do use that don't forget to like and subscribe check out for more tips tricks hacks modeling things etc etc from digital taxidermy um, we've got lots of things on the way and uh, yeah happy printing check out our website www.digitaltaxidermy.co.uk and um, we'll see you in the next video take care then bye bye now like the video, follow me around, press the bell, it makes no sound, like the video, press subscribe, I don't know why I am alive!